I see over on the Lux thread on RC Groups that a lot of people are having trouble getting Betaflight to flash to their Lux board. And I thought, well, since Luminaire was nice enough to give me a, a Lux uh, along with this race blade frame, uh, I may as well do them a favor and do a video about how I went through it. Uh, and I just went through this process, and I do agree that if you're coming from boards where flashing is a little easier uh, and a little more, you know, you just go to the Clean Flight configurator and you pick your firmware and you flash it, then uh, then this is a little bit different. Um, so uh, here is what you got to do. Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download Betaflight, which you can get from uh, the page you see here. This is uh, Boris's uh, repo on GitHub, and you can pick the Betaflight release that you're going to download, and you can download the hex file. Most of you have probably already done this, but I thought I would include it just in case people, you know, just to, for the sake of completeness. Betaflight 234 and above added a new target for the Lux, the Lux race target. So if you're using 234 or 235, that's the target you're going to want to download, luxrace.hex, and I'm downloading it now. So here I am trying and trying to flash uh, the firmware and failing, and what I want you to notice is that up here in the upper right, there is no uh, DFU or virtual COM port. I forget what they call it. I'll show you later when I get it working. It's just the regular COM port selection, and it's, nothing's there. And the reason is that I've plugged in the board with the button pressed. So the board is in bootloader mode, but the correct driver is not installed. And so basically this is as if the board was not connected. So if you have booted in bootloader mode, but you don't see uh, the DFU or virtual COM port up here in the upper right, you don't have the correct driver installed. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay, so we go to the manual, which I know is not perfect. And we download the Zadig program, which is uh, going to fix the driver for us. And now I'm running Zadig. By the way, I'm on Windows 10. I don't know if that will change anything for anybody there. Okay, so here I am in Zadig. I'm going to click Options, List All Devices. Now I do want to point out that I have got the Lux plugged in in bootloader mode. If you don't do that, I don't believe that the relevant device will show up here. So I'm going to go down to the STM32 bootloader, and again, if you don't see that, then you don't have the Lux plugged in in bootloader mode. So hold down the boot button and plug in your Lux, and you should have the solid blue LED with no other LEDs flashing. We're going to pick that one. Now you'll notice I've actually, this is the second time I've done this because I didn't record correctly the first time. I don't know why. But you'll see that the destination, the target driver is WinUSB 61 blah, 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 blah. Um, you should have something different here, unless you've done this before, as the source driver. So now I'm going to click Reinstall Driver. It's going to install the driver. Okay. Now I know some people have posted that they did not get this message. The driver was not installed successfully. I'm sorry to say I can't help you with that. If your driver doesn't install successfully, it has something to do with your computer. It's, I don't, and I don't know. It's just, it's sorry. Try a different computer, or it's just a, I can, that's, that's a tough one. Okay, reinstall your whole operating system, throw your computer in the lake, uh, buy a new computer, become a monk, live in a cave. After 50 years, you won't care anymore, and you'll know the secret of life. But anyway, hopefully it will install successfully for you. Okay, the next thing you have to do is reboot your computer. Uh, I had a lot of frustration trying to make this work. I was like, I did the driver, I installed the Zadig, what's wrong? You gotta reboot your computer next to reload the driver. So reboot, and then, up here in the upper right, if you see DFU, where the COM port usually is, that means it's worked, and you should be able to now flash. Don't mind any of that stuff, I was just fiddling around, but I select the hex file, and I hit flash firmware. Uh, you don't know, forget that stuff. Flash firmware, and there we go. It, it works. And I believe you need to be in DFU mode every time you flash this board. Uh, so thank goodness they put the button on there instead of making you short bootloader pins, right? Wouldn't that be annoying? If in the upper right you see COM6 or whatever, that means you're not in DFU mode. You can use the configurator, but you can't flash. And here you can see me running the version command and seeing that the update has been successful. All right, so, well, as always, I hope that was helpful. And happy, fla happy flashing. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, hope that was helpful. Bye-bye.